welcome back to the channel. More maintenance. Um, I've been posed a question, how do I uh, bleed my fuel system up? And with the Volvo TMD and the CADs and all the, all the Volvo CADs, TMDs, 31s, 41s, 300, CAD 300s, all those engines, you know, they're all very similar. And my engine, um, I've never been able to get the manual priming pump to draw up the fuel. It's always been a right pain. So I thought I'd quickly go through the system and show you what I've done. I've changed all the fuel filters in the Raycors and I've done the fuel filter on the actual engine. The system is completely dry at the moment. So I'm going to show you the quickest way I've found to do it. And hopefully this may benefit you as well. So there is two ways actually. And uh, well, arguably there's three actually. Anyway, I'll show you all the ways that you can do it and I'll show you the easiest and quickest way that I do it. Anyway, let's go and show you. So there's my fuel tank there. Got one filter there, it goes through to another inline filter, which is just down there. And then we go to the filter just there where the, you can see where the nut is on the top there that is a 10 mil nut first off you need to crack that nut so i've already done that so that's already done so it's loose so we're all ready to go so i'll show you the ways you can do it so you've got the fuel filter housing there and right next to it you have the lift pump there's a little lever just here if you click that up and down and pump it manually that should draw the fuel through sometimes if the engine is not aligned right you only get a little bit of a movement on it so you need to go to the front of the engine crank the engine over maybe a quarter of a turn and then try it and see if you get full travel all the way down and up so that's one way of getting the fuel to get through as i said i've never ever managed to be able to do it on mine but i know other people that have done the other way is if i'll show you now i'll try and get the camera, camera angle a little bit better there we go. Undo that nut. Oh, I'm still light in a little bit. And take the nut out completely and use one of these. It's a suction syringe. You place it over the top. Take the nut away so you go over the hole bit of rubber tube always helps to go over it to make the seal and then you literally suck the fuel through another way you can do it is also using the oil pump extractor that's a quick way to do it a lot more suction a lot quicker and once the fuel comes out the top then you know you've got fuel all the way through so that's two ways you can do it i used to do it that way by getting the syringe or the oil pump and sucking it through the system it got to that stage but i'll come up with a better idea and this is the idea i'm going to show you so there it is there's my idea so i've placed a 3 8 for a 10 mil fuel bulb in in line so you just squeeze the bulb like you would do on an outboard and that pumps the fuel up so it makes it so much easier to pump the fuel, fuel sorry, through the system all the way until all fuel filters are full up and you get it to the other end where that nut is and it comes up the top. So that's what I'm gonna do now. <coughs> so I'm literally just gonna squeeze it, like so, wait till the fuel pumps up 
and then we'll get you to the stage where it's coming out the other end where we need to. So I won't bore you with it, I'll just crack it on. You can just see it there now, look. Coming out, I'll give it a couple more squeezes. And once you get to that stage, tighten the nut up. Because you know you've got the fuel to the filter, and we're all good to go. So the fuel system is all filled up and purged. The next job to do is crack all the injectors. I only need to crack, crack them a little bit. And I'll crack all six of them on this engine. That's a six cylinder. And I'll start the engine, or turn the engine over, I should say. Just so I can see fuel coming out of each injector. And then stop the, stop the cranking, tighten them back up and get a friend to, to do it. You crank the engine over. If she starts, great. If she's a bit lumpy, won't go. Just crack another injector out and, and see if it's um, pushing out in the air. And then all I'll do, once the engine's up and running, I'll, I'll give the each injector a small crank off, let it bleed through, and then crank back up. And I'll do all six in, in turn. And then the engine should run sweet as a nut. And that is simple as that. That's the quickest and easiest system for bleeding up the fuel system on a TMD41. It'd be similar for the Volvo Penters on the TMDs and CADs. So there is it. Using the fuel bulb, there we go, that one there, does no difference to the speed of the boat or the performance of the boat it's exactly the same diameter as a pipe i've tested it it works a treat not a problem and for me that is the most simplest and easiest way to pose your engine up with fuel and your fuel filters and the like so there we go so i hope that was useful for some of you um plenty more on the channel check out the videos it's easier and simpler if you look at the the how to's um, on my uh, channel so if you're going through all the fishing videos if the fishing videos are not your thing um, yeah so that that is it simple as that really to be fair easy something for everyone to do and uh, hopefully you like it you share it and if you wouldn't mind subscribing there's plenty more coming up Boat maintenance, top tips. See you next time.